Hey, this is Matt once again. What about the other videos? Another paid request is time for Walker. And for those interested in requesting any type of reactions, topics, reviews, or reviews, what have you, commenters, whatever, feel free to send it either directly to my PayPal or join my Patreon. Both links are down below in the info box. Now, Walker wanted me to react to another Cody Leach video for another 10 movies that need a sequel. Now, like I said before, I'm not going to put footage, audio in it because. I've had YouTube get mad at me for that recently, and so I don't know why other people get to do it, but for me, it's just, I don't know. I would say YouTube doesn't like me, I think I said it before, but YouTube don't know who I am, it's just for some reason, they don't, just, something doesn't like me. But you'll be hearing my voice and stuff, sorry folks, but I'll put the link down below of his video if you want to follow along. Like I said, all these lists are going to be subjective, so I'm not going to agree with everything he says, and some I will agree. I think last time I agreed with four out of the ten choices, which was Friday Theater 2009, Punisher 2004, Dread, and True Lies. I could see them be fun to have those get sequels. But I don't agree with Terminator Dark Fate getting the sequel. I don't agree with I like my cousin Vinny, but I don't agree with that film getting the sequel. I think that's a good one and done deal. But let's see what the other ten movies he chose. So three, two, one, pressing play. So he has intro. Nice note to Evil Dead there in the intro. The the picture that is. Follow up follow up top ten. Let's see what we got. I had mentioned you know, it would be nice to see it would have been nice to see a sequel to Cobra, Tango and Cash, Showdown Low Tokyo, Shoot 'em Up, Hardcore Henry. Good choice. He has the Child's Play remake. Okay. I agree with that. I agree with that. I enjoy the Child's Play remake. I enjoy that a lot more than Megan, which I saw recently. And if they did a sequel, I would be curious about it. I agree with that. It took the concepts, went to a different wild direction, and Yeah, I mean, I enjoyed the kills. I thought it was a good-looking movie with the way it was lit and cinematography. It was a lot better. Which I think the the lighting in the film, the, the use of colors, is a lot more interesting and better than Maiden. I liked the 
the fact that Chucky wanted to protect Andy. Now, obviously, if you did a sequel, it'd probably be just like a typical child's play where he just hunting and killing people. So I don't know what the story would be. Maybe a kid who wants Chucky as a protector and agrees with what Chucky's doing. <laughs> Which that'd be interesting. Like I said, I like Child's Play. I'd be open to a sequel. It'll never happen. I would have been more interested in that than Maiden, which was awful. It follows... Nah. I didn't hate the film. It had really good music. But I thought the concept was very weak. I know people would get mad at that. What I mean by the concept being weak is... It's like an STD monster, okay, but as in this creature that hunts you down and you know when you have sex it could be transmitted to you. But if it's supposed to, if the whole idea is supposed to, it doesn't know what it could be, you don't know what it could be, you don't know where it's coming from, you don't know who you can trust, why does it pit the most obvious things? Why does it pretend to be an eight foot tall like this here? This is the worst hunter I've ever seen in a movie. It pretends to be an eight foot tall wannabe basketball player. It pretends to be a woman, someone naked on her house, or someone in a hospital gown, and a whole crowd full of non hospital gown wearing people. Like you could pick them out of a lima, lima, lineup. It's in the limelight. It's a beacon. Of get the hell away from that bitch. Like you know. Disagree with TTS to India in the sequel. Not a fan of it. I wasn't even big on the first one. But I'll say the first one drew on me a little bit. And I thought that, you know, the first Tick Gaz, if I watch it now, I'd be like, okay, it's okay. Tick Gaz, even, but even as a guy that was a diehard fan of the first one, can say that Tick Gaz 2 sucked. It was terribly written. The action scenes were not fun. And it, it kind of showed that there wasn't, they didn't really have a good story to tell. No, no TTS 3. Trick or Treat. Yeah, that one I agree with. I saw the anthology. I was pleasantly surprised. I saw that 2009 or 2010. I think it came out 2009, but I saw it 9 or 10. And that was impressive. I thought it was one of the better anthology films. Because there's been a lot of horror anthology films, and a lot of them are pretty bad. Whether it be Holidays, Tales of Halloween. But this is like one of the better ones, and the fact that there was never a sequel to it I thought was very confusing. And like you mentioned, there's a lot of potential to it. But I have a feeling if you did it now, there'd be just disappointment. I think if you did it now, people would have too much hype for it, and no matter what it did, it would be disappointing to people. So, maybe it's one of those things that you want it, and you want it, and then when you get it, I would not be surprised. It would be like a split decision of fans. You don't really need a sequel to Christine. I disagree with that. I mean, what would the story be? The car finds another person, influences another person, 
So it'd be one of those sequels, but then it's just doing the same thing as the first one, only it doesn't have the John Carpenter feel to it, so it's going to be less so. I mean, what made Christine work was John Carpenter's aesthetic. The music, the way him and cinematographer used the widescreen, the way it's directed. That's what made Christine work. In the hands of another, it'd just be a typical... I mean, you're just about to rewatch The Car from the 70s, which is, you know, a film I like. I mean, you might as well just say, let's have a maximum overdrive too. Which, I mean, if Stephen Team was coked up on cocaine again, I'd be open to, but... Yeah, I don't think you need a Christine too. I mean, there's nowhere to go with the story. There's nowhere to go with the plot of Christine. I mean, what more can be said with a Christine story? If you want to use a car killing people, I didn't go watch Maximum Overdrive. Go watch The Car. Go watch... What's well, a low budget? There was that one super hybrid. Happy Gilmore. I mean, I don't know. Like, I Happy Gilmore is my favorite Adam Sandler film. That's the one that maybe know about Adam Sandler and enjoyed its his anger and the thing is like okay is he going to be angrier at golf and he's doing the same thing is it going to be the same bits is it going to be the same jokes that's what I'm saying is that okay I like Happy Gilmore but what more do you do in a sequel would it be still with golf would he go into another sport and say, like, okay, he conquered golf. What else is he going to conquer? He's going to try to conquer, what, basketball? Or badminton? You know, tennis? Is that what it's going to be? Tennis? As tennis, and he's just hitting tennis balls. At, like, what more can you do with the golf background? What more can you do with... I did. He won the golf tournament. I mean, what else is he going to have to prove? And people saw that he won, you know, that green jacket. So, what more could you do with Happy Gilmore? So, no, I don't think you need a sequel to Happy Gilmore. Number four is Utopia. I, I'm surprised there has a bit... Well, on Disney Plus, for I understand, there's a couple like little short films that follow some of the characters. But I am surprised that there wasn't an actual full official sequel to Zootopia. It seems like with the world they built, the characters they have, the environments, that that just would be... I mean, they made three Cars films. You know, they made a sequel to Finding Nemo. Uh, they made... Monsters University. So the uh, and it was a very popular film. I'm sure it's a, a furry's wet dream. I would guess. So yeah, Zootopia. I mean, just for that, <laughs> you probably get a hundred million dollars from the 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 furries. If anyone out there watches as a furry, feel free to come by. I won't judge you. All are welcome. On this channel. Number three. The Accountant with Ben Affleck. Interesting choice. I mean. the account I don't remember much about honestly yeah I don't really remember the film I don't remember hating the film and I don't remember I love yeah I don't remember anything about it I think nowadays people are like me it's like what well, oh that movie existed yeah I, I don't know the Nice Guys. That was a fun movie. Russell Crowe, Ryan Gosling. That was an interesting pair. I 
I mean, I'd be curious to see a sequel to that. Maybe with a different director. Did he have a different taste in the script? But... I thought what made that film work was the performances of the two leads. And I said, there's some fun, you know, bits of humor in it. I think one of the things is that the, the investigation itself was less interesting than the characters. Like, the characters, the rapport with each other, some of the off-kilter humor, that was fun. But the investigation itself, I mean, I don't even remember what the summation of that investigation was. But, the, yeah, the nice guys I liked. I have friends who hated it. I don't understand, but I liked it. Number one is Man of Steel. Man of Steel Boner. You guys know my thoughts on Man of Steel. No, I did not want it. I do. I'm glad we're not doing the sequel. I'm glad we never got a sequel. I don't need to see more of an emo, morose, sad sack Superman, where there's barely any color in the film. The action scenes are they make Michael Bay tilt his head and go, "Really, dude." You know, being thrown into 85 different buildings. Make Metropolis look like it was the site of Nagasaki and Hiroshima. Zack Snyder doesn't get Superman. Zack Snyder does not know what Superman is, what Superman represents, what Superman works as a Superman story. I don't really get why people like the film. If you do, to their own. I don't get what there is to like about it. I didn't get a sad, morose... Emo Superman who it just I said I don't get it. Like again, I don't think Zach Snyder gets what Superman is. He doesn't understand the concept of Superman. Did he really say, if you're fighting, you don't worry about the ants? No collateral damage happens? Cody Leach, you don't get Superman then. You're just like Zack Snyder. I'm sorry, you don't get who Superman is. Superman cares about that stuff. That's his number one priority. That is why he does this. That's his number one thought. That's why he... Like, when Cody... Uh, you said... You don't get Superman. You don't get what makes Superman Superman. What you want is... What was that bad guy in Invincible, the cartoon? Ultra... Omni-Man? That's who you want. I think that's what people want. They don't want Superman. They want Omni-Man or whoever the hell he was. You don't really want Superman. It was a lame-ass flick. Triangle damage is important with Superman. Because it's Superman. Well, if you're fine, you don't care about the ants. Uh, comparing people to ants and super... <clears throat> then why is he fighting Cody Leech? Why is he fighting the bad guys? He's fighting to save those ants. If I'm in a fight and the reason of the fight is to save the ants, then yes, it does matter. If I'm in a fist fight with someone and the whole purpose is to save the ants, then I would care about the ants. The whole purpose of super fighting is to save those people. But yet he doesn't care what's going on with those people. Because he's too busy kissing Lois Lane when the whole place looks like Skynet took a bit old on it. Oh, that makes me mad. Oh, that makes me angry. That makes me upset. If you like Man of Steel, that's fine. But to say... That's, that is the worst analogy I have heard in a long time. That, well, this collateral damage, if you're having a fist fight with people, uh, would you care about the ants? If my whole purpose was to protect the ants, yes. It 
Yeah, okay, Cody Leach, okay. Okay, buddy. If he puts Manny Steele as number one, teach their own. But that fundamental... The, the, I, I don't know why that... What they call trigger. I don't know why that triggered me. I'm saying they're going, are you kidding me? Are you serious? Are you serious on that? Are you serious? Whatever. With this said, thanks for watching. Take care. And we'll see you guys later.